Hi, Maspie. You're watching the Worth Shop. What's up, YouTube? I hope you guys been out of the building shit. Believe in your God-given hands, taking on projects, building, fixing, creating. Guarantee as you do and as you accomplish things throughout the day, you're going to build up your self-esteem. You're going to build up your self-worth. That's what this channel is about. Encouraging you guys to take on projects, accomplish things in your own life, and build up your self-worth. So today's a pretty exciting day. If you've been watching, I've been setting up this WVODesigns.com centrifuge, getting all my plumbing done, hooking up an inlet pump and an outlet pump. If you haven't been following along with the series, check out the video description after you're done watching this one, and I'll have some links for you. The reason that today is so exciting is because we're finally going to run our first batch of waste motor oil and turn it into black diesel. And I'm going to give you a walkthrough of my entire system, how I've got it plumbed, how I've got it set up. So let's check it out. First step for our waste oil is going to be this here pump. The inlet to that pump is plumbed in to this here oil drum. And it's also plumbed in to this here hose. So I can stick it in drums that I bring home. And using valves, I'm able to select whether we're coming from that drum or a new one. Once that oil comes in through the wall and to the pump, we've got more valves. We can either turn it on this one, which goes right back outside and into that waste oil drum. So that when I bring home a new drum of oil, it goes right in through the pump and into our tank for future use. So if I close that valve off and turn on this one, the oil's gonna flow right up here and into our top drum. Now, from this top drum, we've got a valve. That way, if the water heater ever goes bad, we can shut off the valve here. Then, it'll come into the water heater, get heated up, come out here. This valve is to regulate the flow this valve is to turn on and off. And then it will come down and into the centrifuge. This valve here is either a drain valve in case of an emergency, in case of a repair or something, we can drain the system. And it is also the valve that we will use to fill up a jug and figure out our flow rate and get it adjusted. From the centrifuge, we've got a vent to let off steam, which will evaporate our water We've got the waste line coming right down here into a drum. And then on the good side, we've got it coming out to another drum down here. Now, if you look over here, this drum has a lot of valves and stuff off of the pump as well. So, I'll explain. We want this open so the oil flows into this drum. From that drum, it's going to be sucked up by this pump and distribute it into this piping here. If I have this valve open, it'll come right out through the wall here and into the top of my final holding tank that I'm gonna be filling my trucks from. To fuel them smoky burnouts. <laughs> if we have this valve off, and so that it's not going to our final holding tank, it'll come right back up here. If we open this one and close that one, it'll loop right back up on itself and mix this drum. If we close that one and have it come up here, then it's right up to our top drum again to run it through the centrifuge again in case it was real dirty. The other feature that I have on this pump is a valve here and a valve here. This is so that I can bring a five gallon gas can of diesel or regular unrelated gas, rug as most people type it out, and suck up into the pump and circulate it and so that we're mixing our regular unleaded or our diesel into our black diesel to get a better ratio and make our vehicles run better. So to start today's escapade, I removed the bung from the drum and we're gonna put this suction hose right there in into the drum and go in and turn on that pump. I'm wanting the oil to go up here and into this top drum. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and open this vent that goes, which will allow this to fill up without vapor locking. This pump's supposed to be self-priming. Let's hope that it is. Let's run it. Woo, that thing is loud. So I think that I've found my first mistake in my design, guys. Uh, the oil comes up through this line into the tanks. I was thinking that it would go down this way. It would allow it to vent up there, but it's not. It's actually just pressurizing because it's going up that way and down that way. So I'm going to snip here and I'm going to put another valve to where I can shut it off there and it'll just come down in that way and leave that as a vent so that it'll fill and push air out that way instead of the oil splitting and pressurizing my tank. For anybody wondering why I've got this external piece from the bottom of the top, it's so that I can see the level inside of my drum since I got a solid metal drum that I can't see through. I don't think you guys can see in there, but it's definitely sucking the level of oil down. But boy, oh boy, is that pump loud. That is absolutely atrocious. Ridiculously loud. The pump shut itself off. It wasn't even able to suck out of a whole 55 gallon drum. Super loud, very unimpressed with this pump. So we've had these valves on for quite a while with this valve on, trying to get this water heater to fill up and it's just not working out. So then I thought maybe I had a vapor lock on my vent line. So I went ahead and cut it and it gave me a little bit of suction, but not a lot. I am gonna have to figure out a place to put my vent tube so that if it overflows, uh, it's not just going all over the ground. And so it's kind of odd. I honestly thought that gravity would just go ahead and fill this and push the air out through that other line. And that's not working like that. So it's actually honestly starting to become pretty frustrating getting this all to work. But I'm gonna go ahead and blow in here and hopefully get this pressurized so that it fills up the tank. Blew up into the tank, pressurized the tank, shut off the valve. We finally got some oil coming out at the bottom, guys. And I'm mean, trying to adjust it and so that it does about a gallon per 10 minutes. So I ran it into the jug a few times. I feel like I've got it at a slow enough flow rate here. So I went ahead and shut this valve off. I'm going to turn on the water heater. I'm going to leave that on probably about an hour and then I'll come out here I'll turn on the centrifuge and I'll open this valve to get it started up the water heater has been on for about 10 minutes and if I grab this metal here it is warming up so I didn't get burned by a used water heater on Facebook marketplace nice and a little bit disappointing in this packs not being able to see the level in here i thought that i would with the light on maybe if i stood on this side lights on that side but as you see you really can't but with the lights off and a flashlight there we go we found our level right there so it's not the end of the world but a little inconvenient once it fills this up then it will come out of the overflow and so if this starts getting liquid in it I know, tank's full, shut off the pump. All right, guys, so it's been a little over an hour. We got heat up here, got heat down here. So I know the water heater has that oil nice and warmed up. So at this point, we've got to turn on the centrifuge. And to do that, I just flip my switch. Centrifuge is going. The valve over there into the clean oil tank that's open so let's go ahead and open this guy up and allow us some oil 
start going into that centrifuge. Go ahead and open this just to see my flow rate real quick. It was definitely going a little quicker than I wanted it to, probably because it's heated up now. And we did the tests on the flow rate prior to it getting heated up. So I went ahead and turned it down a little bit. We don't want it going too quick because then it doesn't clean as well. I just want it just a nice little slow drip like that. I don't mind it taking a little longer. I just want it to be nice and clean. Now, it's just a waiting game, guys. Let her run for a while. I'm also going to get in here to my control box and just kind of speed it up some. I hear the faster you run it, then the cleaner it gets. I don't want to just have it screaming along, but a little faster than it was. One hour later. So it's been about an hour and a half. Come out here and check on things. Still nice and warm. Open this guy up. The whole thing is warm now. Flow rate looking pretty good to me. Let's check the level. It's gone down about an inch or so, which is awesome for an hour and a half because that means we've got a good five or so more hours to go. And we'll have ran. I'll say probably about 40, 45 gallons. But the best part of all this, I see no leaks, drips, or especially big puddles. Two hours later. So it's still running, been a couple hours, but looking at that, uh, we're really not running quick enough. So I adjusted the valve out a little bit. Hopefully it speeds it up a little bit. And uh, I'm able to finish this thing tonight because whew, she's going slow right now. Did have waste going into a full 55 gallon drum. Realized that was just way too much. So cut the drum down and I'm gonna cut a hole into this to where my waist can go into it. Uh, it has a place to sit on the chopped down drum. So that's what I'm working on now. Two hours later. All right, guys, so I just powered it down. I closed the valve prior to powering it down, let it run for another couple minutes. Just make sure that everything was out of the lines and whatnot. But I figured out if I put that on there, I can watch the level and know, hey, I've been, I've been an hour since I've been out here and it's down here. So I know about how quick I'm running and that's helping me keep track better. I've only ran down to about there and so I obviously have it running too slow. I realized that I didn't need a gigantic uh, waste oil thing because it barely, barely comes out of here until you shut it down. But this little guy should serve me well into the future. It's dark out now, about time for me to get to bed. So it's been a learning uh, experience. Tomorrow I'll continue this batch. I'm gonna crank up the, valve a little bit get it flowing a little bit quicker but i've got it running now showed you guys the layout of my system the next day okay so it's the next day flip the switch got the centrifuge running opened up the valve i also adjusted it to speed up the flow a tad bit so let's check it out real quick Definitely got some more flow going on today. One hour later. Been about an hour and a half, and we've ran that much oil. I'd say that's mm, about an inch and a half down in a sideways 55 gallon drum. Over halfway through, and we really don't have much waste at all. Most of that came from when I shut it off. But you can see the vapors, the water vapors. So that's a good thing. We're definitely getting some water out of the oil, cleaning it a little better with the heat. One hour later. Been another hour or so. This is how far we've gotten. But I'm gonna go ahead and shut the system down. And to shut it down, first we shut off the valve. Gonna let that run for a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the water heater. Cause I'm done with the system for a few days. Gonna let that run just to make sure that it processes whatever oil is left 
in the line or in there some will drain out once you shut it off that's just kind of what it does a few moments later a few minutes later i'm going to go ahead and shut the centrifuge down once it uh shuts down like i said it'll drain a little bit into the waste tank not a big deal there you can hear it draining into the waste tank that's just what was remaining inside the centrifuge on the walls just kind of coming out one of the first things i want to check is inside here i want to see what kind of uh, gunk is collected so i've got a bungee cord system so that i can lift my lid up and honestly that will look pretty clean i'm thinking we've got a little bit of funk but really not a lot guys Really, I've got mostly still clean oil in there. If you follow the channel, you know I work on a farm, and that's where my oil came from. I think that the source of your oil is going to determine how much gunk and funk is in it. Uh, we're usually pretty clean about ours. Putting it in barrels, saving it up, keeping water out of it, etc. So I've got a pretty good source of oil. So now we know that we've got, we'll just call it around 40 gallons of oil cleaned out in this finished tank. So I'm gonna show you guys the next step of my process and how I'm gonna go about mixing it. So from this pump, that valve's shut. We want this one shut. It comes from the centrifuge and we're done with that. We want this one open so that it will come up and out of this right back into it and circulate what's in there then i've got a jug of diesel fuel here and so i'm going to open this valve just a little bit i'm going to open this valve a lot of bit and so that it's sucking a little at a time out of here a lot of the time out of here and cycling it around. Ooh, that pump sounds so much better. Woo! We got a leak, guys. Nobody said I was perfect. I can't walk on water. And not to pat myself on the back, but only one leak with all these valves and fittings and things that I had to hook up. I don't think I'm doing too bad. That's the factory fitting that came with this pump, but it looks like I'm going to have to seal that better. So we're not going to do a full on cycle and mix today. Unfortunately, things happen, but you got to see pretty much my entire system. The only thing after that would be once it's mixed, once it's cycled, I'm going to open up the other valve to send it out to my final holding tank that I'm going to fill my trucks with. And with that, what are we going to do with those trucks? If you guessed burnouts, you would be correct. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Learned something from my dumbass setting up a centrifuge and running it for the first time that you can use setting up your own centrifuge or waste oil to black diesel processing system. If you did learn something, hit that thumbs up button. Really helps out with this small YouTuber trying to grow, trying to beat those evil algorithms. Check out the description of the video before you take off. There's bound to be another video you enjoy about this centrifuge setup. Some of the tips and tricks, money savings, expenses, etc. If you want to see more about my diesel processing system, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I hope that you take your hands, build something, fix something, create something. Stay active, guys. Make progress in your own lives. Till next time, keep building shit.